Hey, I'm Andy, and this is Albion Online, and I saw this game on Steam, and a few of my friends were playing it, so I decided I might as well try it as well. It looked like a Diablo-style type of game based off the screenshots, but it said it was a MMORPG with, like, PvP, and it's more sandboxy. But uh, I'll link to the Steam page in the description down below for those that are interested. And I have created a new character, and as you can see, I played zero seconds of it, and button reminds me, like, there's some... Some of these aspects remind me of different games, but I'm going to hold off on my judgment until I actually play it, so let's see the truth of the world. I think uh, it's going to play the tutorial since I checked that box, so let's see how we're going to see how this goes. So it already starts out similar to Diablo 3 in the sense that uh, I actually start out in like a shipwreck beach, but the end, then again, like a, a lot of games start started like that, so... Current quest objectives are displayed in the box on the right. Find a way off the beach. Alright, so... Can't really interact with anything. So, so far it does seem like it's uh, Diablo, but in an MMORPG setting. Like I said, I don't know uh, like if there's different types of... What the meta is for like the that attribution and all that. Uh, get a vantage point, stay in the circle for two seconds. I don't think I could have left the circle uh, going any other way besides backwards. Alright, talk to the survivor. Another survivor. Alright. Another survivor. I'm glad you survived the attack unharmed. I wasn't so lucky. Broke my arm when the explosion threw us overboard. I don't know what happened to the others. Alright. I need your help. Let's gaze our situation. This tower seems like a good lookout. Climb up there and find out what happened to our ship. So that this seems more... I, like, I don't know when the MMORPG aspect comes into play, but this seems more single player than uh, multiplayer, but... Uh, it is what it is. Uh, this is I mean, this done. is the tutorial, so I don't really expect to see a lot of multiplayer aspects yet, so far, so... Oh, we can actually mine. That's that's interesting. Let's mine this. So there's enemies over there. I wonder how many... I, I'm sure there's like going to be a weight limit. Or, I guess, uh, inventory limit. So there is a weight limit too, so... You can only carry so much and hold so much weight. Alright, so we're gonna climb this lighthouse. I don't think there's a way to rotate the perspective. I think you're just stuck in, in this uh, way. Oh, which is fine. Check the bridge for enemies. I see some enemies over there. There we go. Strange chest. Beginner's mercenary hood. Alright. I guess we'll equip that, and it equips... I mean, you can zoom in, zoom out. I think I'm gonna keep this over here. Use the spell on your boots by pressing shortcut F. Alright, so we get the super hasty thing, but only for a, a small amount of time, and it has a Pretty lengthy cooldown, but it is what it is. That went swimmingly. All right, so we got all the objectives done. Let's complete Only it. These heretics will steps. curse the day they shot at us. We need a weapon. I mean, I can't use my fists. <laughs> so we have to gather some stone. We have to gather some logs, and then craft a sword of our own. So there is a small amount of crafting. You're my right hand. I already, I already gathered the stone. I, I, did, I guess I must have missed over the, the trees. But we have enough stone. Let's just try and gather the trees up. Alright, and I don't know how fast if they respawn. Because I know in some... In some MMOs, they respawn once a day. Some, uh, like in Guild Wars, some things respawn in an hour. But here we can just keep gathering all the stuff. No, I, I guess I couldn't have highlighted the, the so logs far, anyways. So good. All right, so let's there is no time craft to using the blacksmith. Beginner's broadsword. Let's craft. All right. 
Open your inventory shortcut. Yes, drag and put here. Only one spell can be active per row. Heroic Strike or Heroic Cleave. 91 physical damage to all enemies in a, so an AoE attack or uh, one and each heroic charge increases your move and attack speed. I'm gonna go for AoE. I feel like I feel like AoE things are good. So I don't know if like there, I don't know if there's specific classes or if I'll eventually spec into them. So yeah, it'll be interesting once I complete the tutorial and see how things go in like the actual MMO world. We have to get to the ups. All right, so let's equip the shield. Go to the gate and get ready for the fight, which I think will be pretty easy. So this is really like Diablo, <laughs> or I mean any any uh, isometric ARPG so far. I don't know how far I'm gonna get in this video. I might do more. Right, so you got five monies per. I probably should have done my AOE attack. All things considered. All right. We have a. Uh, is that dailies? Do any activities, training, defeat any enemies to gain fame, or find any T2 resource to gain fame. You yeah, just unlock your destiny board. All right. The destiny board consists of no. So it's like Path of Exile. Uh, I don't. Remember, I don't know why I blanked out on that earlier, but yeah, Diablo and Path of Exile, those types of games. Notes show the progression and skills of your character. Unlock notes by gaining fame. There is combat fame earned by defeating enemies. Gathering fame by get. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Can I zoom out? And crafting fame by crafting. Details can be viewed by selecting a node. You unlock equipment and skills by fulfilling requirements of the next level of the node. All right. The progress of track nodes is displayed on the display destiny board tracker on the top right. That is a lot of branches. It's all okay. <laughs> all right. So we got unlocked automatic with this parent unlocked. Okay. Okay. Really, that's a really big, uh, I mean, it's, I don't think it's as, uh, detailed as Path of Exiles, but I don't know for sure. Because <laughs> it, it looks like there's a, it doesn't look like there's a lot of combat stuff, it's all relegated into one section, but I mean, I don't know, I, I obviously I haven't looked through each and every skill, so. Hard for me to say. You can zoom in, but you can't really zoom out all that far. I hope there's a... I hope there's a way to do range. Oh, I guess Hunter. Hunter's ranged. And then there's a Mage tree as well. So I guess you get your standard Warrior, Hunter, and Mage. I don't know if there's a, like, a healer. Maybe... maybe not? I don't know. But anyways, let's... let's move on. Alright, get to the ship and find the rest of the crew. Uh, what do I have a question mark back there? So let's do our hasty haste. So what do I have a? Uh, I guess this was the. Need some advice? Yeah, get to. The, yeah, that was just the continuation of the current quest. All right. Let's get to the ship then. All right, here's a, here's the multiplayer aspect, I guess. Speak with Captain in uh, the cave or the cove. You are currently in the tutorial area. If you're playing with friends, there might be in a different tutorial area. So there are like clusters or something. Some interactions are blocked during the tutorial. At the end of the tutorial, you'll be able to choose your starting point in Albion. So there's multiple starting points. Okay. Use this as an opportunity to meet up your fr with your friends. You killed those heretics. Bloody good work. Uh, oh, we, we already get a mount. 
Huh. Make haste. All right, go to the marketplace. Wow, my mounts already. <laughs> All your orders are, and attached items are stored locally. This means you cannot access these orders or pick up these items from other locations. Alright, so, I mean, we can only... There's only one mount here that we can buy. Um, here you can sell and buy items. Once you leave the tutorial, marketplaces in the city will be purely player trip. Almost every item in Albion is player... Oh, okay. Use the search bar to look for specific items or the drop-down menus to browse. Buy, okay, buy the novice mule and press buy to acquire, okay. Uh, okay. Made a profit? Cook your mount via your inventory. Guess we'll put it here? Yeah. Find a wounded crafter. Alright, thank you for your help. Never introduced myself properly to that. My name is Crafter Silas. There's much to be done, and I'll help you in any way I can. Alright. Acquire a pickaxe and axe and return to the cove. Alright, seems... I mean, this is, this is a pretty decent tutorial. Tells you uh, what you need to know in without the distractions of without a lot of distractions actually of the the multiplayer part which is like so, some of these MMOs I've, that I've played in the past they do tutorials right and some they don't <laughs> like, I, I remember some MMOs require you to hunt stuff as part of like a tu tu the tutorial I forget which ones but uh, yeah, when the game launches, which, which this game has, this, this this game's been out, but when the game launches and you have like a hun hundreds of people trying to kill the same thing, it, it doesn't go well. All right, so let's do let's go here. Figures. Oh, so we need wood. Very well. So I guess. I wonder. It, it looks like the the nodes are the nodes are uh, first come first serve. Yeah, that <laughs> slipped my mind for a bit, but but at least in this area, the nodes are re responding in a quick manner. I don't know how how the rate is like after the. Tutorial, which I think is obviously going to be much slower, <laughs> but we'll see. All right, so let's craft. We have enough materials now. So let's craft the pickaxe. Well, we have eight and nine. Oh, so craft the axe. We can also craft the other stuff too, but I mean, those those two things are the only ones that we need for the quest. Because we get the the other stuff, so it's kind of it reminds me of Guild Wars, where you, where you have your own harvesting. I mean, not just Guild Wars, but I guess the look of the items in the inventory reminds me of Guild Wars a little bit because of the the harvesting stuff. I don't know. It's, it's just about been playing a lot, a lot of Guild Wars lately. So. All right, open the world map and return to crap. You've got this. Oh, that's not the world map. That's the world map. Here you can find information about the whole continent of Albion. Regions in Albion are called clusters. Left click on a cluster to open a specific cluster map. Alright. PV na uh, name and PvP rules. For example, safe region P players can't attack you. Uh, display info such as the number of players in the cluster and times for the guild battles. Oh, so there. I wonder if it's like world vs world or is it just uh, guild vs guild. Anyways, there's five biomes in Albion, Swamp, Forest, Steppe, Highland, and Mountain. Resources that are available within the cluster map are displayed in the top right corner right here. Alright, so let me check the map again, see how big this place is. It's actually pretty, pretty large. Although, like if... it might... maybe... 
I, like, I don't know if this is... Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I, I thought, I thought this part was just the, uh, all of the, all of the world, but, and I was gonna say, like, that's kind of small because our area here where we started is this big compared to the, the royal continent, but then here I am, uh, going up northwards, and yeah, that is a large, large area. I don't know how, like, I don't know how long the story is, if there is a story, but yeah, that's that's a large, large map. You've that's a good thing, too. Alright. Go. So we gotta go into the forest. The Forgotten Woods. So, these areas are not instance-based, so... Recognizing resources. Foxes look like foxes. Birch trees look like uh, trees with white bark and yellow leaves. Oh. There's going to be a lot of people here, aren't there? Alright, so we got all the birch logs already. Now what we need to do is rugged hide from foxes. Protected from- okay, so there is loot protection. So we need to find foxes and kill them. And then A apparently is the, the key for mounting. Okay, so that's how far you can zoom in. Get the rugged hide, so we got three from that. Oh, we got. Oh, we can get nine. Okay. So all we need to do is uh, harvest one set of or one tree and one fox. Although I'm gonna get more just because. Although it's gonna really gonna increase my weight uh, carrying or decrease the the uh, remainder that I can carry. I mean, it, it doesn't look the best compared to other MMORPGs out there, but I, I, I mentioned this before in previous games that games don't really have to look super realistic to have uh, to be good. So, so far I'm enjoying this. It, it reminds me a lot of other types of games, but yeah, so far, I mean, this is just a tutorial, so... I don't know really what else to expect in that vast world that I saw on that map, so... <laughs> yep. Yeah. I don't know how long this tutorial is either, or... That was fast. Right. Trust in now we're gathering the copper and cotton. You know what to do. Go to the mountains. Okay, so this way is the mountains. Mountain Fort. Oh, we don't leave footprints. <laughs> oh well, it's not super important. Copper ore looks like ore, and fiber looks like the that. Yeah, so we need to only get four copper, or I mean four cotton and six copper. Now, because of the tutorial, this the nodes do respawn fast, but like I said, I, I have a strong feeling that they don't spawn as fast in the actual world. Alright, so let's go back. Now, I feel like I if I really want to like maximize the my character before I leave I should gather as much as I can but I don't know if it's all just gonna get uh, hypothetically lost in, tra in, transi in transition to the, the mainland but it is what it is alright the refiner so we're, we're, we're refining stuff you've got this Let's make a copper bar. Let's make some leather. Let's 
make some planks. The, the crafting is pretty fast, pretty simple too. Uh, for now, like I don't, I don't know all the recipes and all that, but yeah, it seems pretty straightforward so far. So use the birch planks to repair the ship, uh, copper to repair everything to repair the ship. Alright, so we'll just do four, six, six, and four. Alright, so we're gonna go to the captain and turn in the quest. She floats again. The so we tides get have soup. turned. Let's show him what we got. Right, go to the outpost in the forest and steal the heretic map. Kill heretic until you reach the learning point threshold of the trainee combat node. Unlock the trainee combat node with learning points and then. Show okay. them hell. Mm. Learning points are displayed at the top of the destiny board. Uh, the line in progress bar indicates the learning point threshold. Once the line is passed, learning points can be used. Okay. Only a set number of learning points can be earned by completing daily activities. Okay. So we can't learn this yet. But our, our quest is to do so. The music's nice. Alright, so I have to go all the way north. Alright, I have a mount. Why am I just walking? <laughs> right, let's bypass all this and get to the, the area where we're supposed to go. Here we are. You can also auto attack by targeting an enemy and press space. Alright, so I have to dismount. Wait. So, oh, it just stays there. Okay. Interesting. I thought it would just like disappear, but apparently not. Oh, I guess it does disappear after I leave the the circle. Let's bring all these scavengers together. Oh, I'm at half health. Is there a way to heal? I guess we're just gonna heal automatically <laughs> over time. As long as I'm not taking damage or in a combat state, I guess. Alright, kill heretics until you reach the learning point threshold of the trainee combat node. So we just gotta keep killing things. Alright, does alt show things that I can pick up? I don't know yet, because I haven't uh, killed, tried it. Alt does not. Alright. Let's see, defeat enemy enemies to gain fame. Do any activities. Refine tier 2 resources. Gather tier 2 resources. Bring all of them together. Yeah, this AoE is pretty nice. You just need to have all the enemies nearby to do so. Learning point reached. Alright, so. You can get there, press learn. Learning points are limited to a set number per day. Use them wisely. So we got trainee fighter. And that unlocks all this that we can use so maybe I'll do hunter maybe I'll do mage well, I'm leaning toward hunter because I usually tend to play those classes first 
now we get to go back and turn in the quest. Uh, I mean, I, I wonder how hectic this area must have been at launch. Like, it must have been pretty hectic, because it's kind of hectic right now, although, I mean, in some parts. Like, parts near the, the entrance or exit is pretty hectic. Even at the time of this recording, so... I wonder how it must have been during launch. Nope, wrong way. Alright. Nope, I didn't want to do that, but sure. Alright, so let's report back. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, so... Take your time. Power reader. Combining different armor and weapon types is the pillar of Albion Online's class... Oh, so it is classless. Adjust your gear to best suit your playstyle, party role, or task. Although, I don't know... I guess healer will be in the mage category, maybe? I don't know. Alright, go to the warrior's forge and see what you can craft there. Oh, wrong way. Alright, plate armor, sword. Hmm. We don't have enough things. <clears throat> Go to the hunter lodge and see what you can craft there. You can craft leather armor and a bow. Or, I guess, bow, daggers, druid staffs, spears, quarter staffs, torches. And then the mage area, cloth armor and fire staff, which unlocks holy, which I assume is the healing route, cursed fire and ice, staffs and books. Okay. Press the hint button in your quest to see the last hint. I uh, don't need to. Found everything you need. Time to gear up. Come back when you're ready. All right, you can either craft or buy gear. I feel like there's gonna be there's people that are dedicated in the crafting aspects, so you'll either have the money or you'll have the resources to craft, basically. I wonder if there's like durability on my items. Let's see. It doesn't look. It do, it looks like it's. Oh, I guess there's durability on the bottom. All right. So there is durability. I need to get some ore if I want to craft things, I assume, so. I need to get a tier 2 helmet and armor and boots. And I guess the two-handed weapon or main and offhand weapon. Alright, so we need to... It, it's all part of the daily too, so I just might as well get as many as I can to, to fulfill the daily. It's going up by five. Hopefully I don't run out of uh, durability by the time I, I uh, finish. And I assume the leather will go for the leather armor. The the ores will go for the the plate, and then the cotton will go for towards the light, and the wood slash stone will go for weapons. Maybe. I mean that that's what I assume. We're getting a lot of copper though. <laughs> We're about halfway there on the trainee gatherer. And then we need to refine the sources. I guess we can get uh, wood from these trees too. Rough logs. It's really interesting that you can get stuff from 
the majority of these things. Right, no one's over here, so we can gather to our heart's content. Gavin Cotton brings this score up by five? No. That went up by four. That went up by five. Five, four, and five? I'm gonna go up by five. Or this went up by four. I, I guess it's different. I don't know. I really don't know. So we got a bunch of we have a bunch of cotton and we have a bunch of copper. So we have thirty and thirty-nine. We should get we should try and get more leather and wood, I guess. I guess we can get wood from here. Oh I guess that's not considered tier two. Consider tier two? No, uh, I don't think so. I think the the birch wood is considered tier two. Too bad we can't gather the mushrooms. Yeah, the birch logs are considered tier two. So we need to gather more of these and more. Of leather. Alright. That's, that's an effective uh, stop. Uh, like pausing. Or whatever you want to call it. A slowdown. A, like a, a break. But uh, to gather things. Usually it's like. Kill X things. But I mean this is the same thing. But uh, it's in a different way. Get the hide. Journeyman Reaver. Kill creatures. Three out of a thousand. Is this going to go up one per kill? That's going to be annoying. There's a few here. Let's see how much it goes up by. Goes up by. Oh, it goes up by four. But I mean, still a thousand. So it's gonna be a long way. A long ways away. Yeah, we're almost at the. We almost got this one done. The trainee gatherer. Alright, we got that. We got that done. So now it, it got replaced by Lumberjack. Interesting. I'm, I'm not going to do all this. Just so I'm just going to get enough to make the quest and then continue on. Or maybe I'll just complete the quest and then stay here and try and gather as much things as I can. Because it seems like it adds on to the dailies. If that makes any sense? Yeah, it's pretty interesting so far. Like, there's there's a lot to do in this uh, small tutorial island too. And I mean, obviously, once you get to the mainland, there's better things to gather in terms of uh, resources. So I don't want to stay here all the time. I don't even think I can stay here all the time. Now let's go the hunter route. So let's bow. We only have 12? Wow, I thought we had more. But we have enough to make the hood. We have 14. So that's uh, item power 300. We already have that, so. And we already have all of this. We, we're just missing the weapon. But we need to, I guess we need to craft the tier two stuff. Maybe. Cause I'm already 
holding this. But I, I guess I have to craft it. And then I'll, I'll craft it and see if it counts towards the, the counter. So we crafted that. So I guess we have to like craft it again if we want to. Uh, let's see. There it says. I guess the durability slightly used versus. Uh, I mean, this is better. So, uh, 300 item power 300 versus the item power 100 some. So, yeah, the, it's it's better. Uh, I guess I don't know. I don't know what I was looking at earlier. But we need to gather more birch and more leather. Because I kind of want to go that hunter route. So I'm probably going to fast forward all this gathering stuff. Alright, I'm pretty sure I have enough leather and birch. I just need to refine them, so... I'm going to refine them here. Hopefully it won't take too long. Make all that we can. We can make 63. I, yeah, I, I went. I went to town on on these. So uh, hopefully it'll be enough. So we don't. We need the leather. We can also, I guess, use that to repair. Let's craft all the leather. Stand back. Yeah, I, I went to town. Destiny fulfilled. Journeyman refiner. Okay. Now we can go here. Craft the bow. Which I you know, I kind of want to try out. And then we can craft the the jacket, and then we can craft the shoes. And then we can wear these things. Right, so we can do men wounds. This ability can only be used outside of combat. Regenerate five percent health at five percent energy per second. This channel lasts up to twelve seconds. Or Inferno Shield. Caverns cast with a flaming shield, increasing resistance by 54 and reflecting 30% of incoming damage. Back to the attack for 8 seconds. I'm gonna do that. Men wounds. Healing, seem healing seems good. And then equip this. So then what can we do with the stuff that we don't want to... That was good. Uh, let's see. Multi-shot or deadly shot. Let's do multi-shot. And then... What can we do? I guess we can try and... Can we sell the items? Or uh, deconstruct them? You are what you wear. We got a cape. They messed with the wrong crew. Alright, so I'm gonna leave this here. We're still on the tutorial island, but uh, it is what it is. Let's see if we can disassemble. Let's repair all. Oh, so there is a recycle tab. So let's drop our beginner items here, since our inventory is kind of limited, in a sense. So it, it tells you what we're going to get back, which is nice. The amount of resources gained depends on the item's durability. Alright, so that's all. So what's this? I, I still don't know what this means, like... It, does it mean it's, it's common, or...? Hmm, I don't know. That's uh, salvage. Alright, so we got that done. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave this here. I might do more. Maybe I'll stream this, <laughs> like I said on other uh, videos of this type. But yeah, this was like the beginning part of Albion Online. Hope you liked it. Uh, like I said in the very beginning, I'll leave a link to the Steam page down below if you want to get if you want to try it. It is free to play. Although I don't I don't know if it's pay to win. I don't think it is. But I mean, uh, with the free games, you know, you never know, unless. Uh, I mean, unless it was blatantly obvious, but, uh, yeah, until next time, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.